Next up is an entrepreneur from Austin, Texas, with a new way to work out while having fun. Hello, sharks. My name is Terry Jones, and I'm the CEO of Nexus. We're seeking a $2 million investment for a 10% stake in our company. Nexus, the next generation exercise system, is an interactive and intelligent fitness and gaming platform that delivers a fast, fun, and effective workout for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're an average Joe or if you're an Olympic medalist, like my friend Marlon Esparza. Nexus combines the benefits of a personal trainer with the fun and excitement of today's online games. You simply select your personal profile, then you choose between circuit training, high intensity interval rounds, or a one on one challenge against one of our Nexus avatars, and you're ready to go. Kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And when you're complete, Nexus provides a detailed analysis of your work every time you train. You're going to live a happier, sexier, healthier life using the same methods as professional boxers and MMA athletes around the globe. So, which of you sharks would like to draw first blood against your ultimate opponent? We've got a uh, special avatar that we brought. Hey, now that's a good looking dude. There you go. Marlon, be really easy on him. He's a wonderful guy. One punch Cuban. Where it lights up, you hit. Look at him. Pop, I'm just going to. Ah. Mr. Wonderful, you're in trouble, I got to tell you. Look at that. Awesome, Yeah, way to go, Mark. But you can see, Mark was 36% accurate. He was hitting real hard, but not necessarily real accurate. Did I just want to knock his ass out. I believe, you, I believe you knocked him out. I didn't feel a thing. Mark, was it fun? I mean, it was a nice little workout. We, how long did we do? You did 15 seconds. I mean, doing three minutes on that would be a great workout. Terry, eventually we got to get to this. You put a huge valuation on this company, $20 million. Do you have any sales? Uh, we do. We are uh, sales to date are a little over four million dollars. Wow. Four point two million. That's over about eighteen months. Do you make any money? We are not profitable yet. We should be profitable in September of this year. And is this designed for gyms and the home? Absolutely. The black model is the personal model. The silver model is the commercial model. Where are the sales? Give me the breakdown. Currently, about seventy percent commercial and about thirty percent home. I think it's very cool. I do really like it. Uh, you get demonstration, I think, better than almost anyone in the world having your experience so on what, QVC. While you're groveling up to Lori, let's go back to the numbers. What's your cost to make one of those units? Uh, just under $2,000 for the commercial unit. But Terry, this is really a digital punching bag. Punching bag costs about $1,200, a good one, leather, et cetera. What does that cost? Uh, the commercial unit is $7,000. Whoa! And <laughs> it is, well, that's very, that's So cheaper. I can buy a car or buy this? <laughs> or you can buy a uh, buy a treadmill or an elliptical in the same price range. What about the home unit? How much is that, Terry? Uh, Twenty nine ninety five. How did you sell them? We sell. Uh, we promote it on TV with direct to consumer advertising. We sell electronically. So you've been running infomercials. Uh, we've run one and two minute spots, not right. the long form. One yes. How are those doing? Uh, they did very well. We ran them last year. We've spent about a million dollars in TV last year. Uh, generated about a million and a half dollars in sales. That brings up something else. How much in debt are you? Uh, we have on our balance sheet about uh, seven and a half million dollars of shareholder debt. I knew I was going to get to Whoa. this after that one. Terry, Terry, uh, and Terry. And how much of that is your own money? Wow. Uh, the small portion of that is mine and my family's money. And that means that now we're going to find out you own very little of this company, correct? Uh, I uh, own about 35% of the company. You know, I'm a nice guy, so I wouldn't do this to you. But if I were an opportunistic guy, I would just simply wait for that debt to come due, and then I'd own your company. Basically, that's what those debtors are going to do. If you don't figure out a way to pay them, they'll own all the equity when this is over. Uh, we don't believe that's going to happen. Given where we are in run rate, by the time that debt is due, our cash flow will allow us to repay that debt. But you know, in life and in business, poo-poo happens.
Don't you think a savvy financial investor, of which I'm going to include myself right now, would want to see that resolved before I put a dime into this company? Because if I buy your equity at this valuation of $20 million and the debt guys aren't happy, I'm screwed, Terry. We will be uh, repaying that and addressing what that. What happens if you don't? Well, we'll have to deal with those creditors at that time. How many investors do you have? We have about 60 investors. 60? Damn. Oh. Have your investors seen any money back yet? Oh, hell no. No. This is a story about a lot of debt. Great product, too much debt, I'm out. Thank you. I have gone to the future in a split second, and here's what happened. The debt wasn't paid back, and those shareholders wiped you out. You are now an employee of the company with no equity at all. The smartest guys on the balance sheet are always the debt guys. They know your future already. Luckily, those guys are also my common stock and convertible to venture partners. Yeah, but they're going to own no, a lot that doesn't more matter. than common. That doesn't matter. They're going to force you into bankruptcy, and anything that you own is going to be gone. Any assets that you had are going to be sold, and they're going to take their pennies on the dollar. They're not your friend. Good luck to you, but I have a feeling when we meet you again, you're going to be an employee. That's it. I'm out. You know, I'd love to uh, be before you today with less debt. Unfortunately, the markets told us how we could raise money to deliver it. We're standing before you with two products with a $20 million valuation, which is a fraction of companies like Total Gym, like Nordic Track, like Bowflex. These are billion dollar market cap companies. And you're not anything that, like uh, them at all. Those are very simple devices. How you even spent $7.5 million to develop this is beyond me. And the valuation, normally I'm the one who doesn't care about valuation because you can always grow past it. But now you've good. learned from the wise one. I wouldn't call you the wise one, but it's just crazy. For that reason, I'm out. You know, you're like in the third round with a young Mike Tyson. He's giving you two body blows, but he's about to cock back and crack your head to the white meat. <laughs> <laughs> that debt is dangerous. I'm out. And then there was one. I like it. I think it looks like a lot of fun. Great way to have a workout. I think that it's a great product. You are in serious debt, but I think you'll get out of it. But I don't like to get into that type of situation. And for that reason, I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank, Thank you very much. much. All the best. I don't know if he's gonna get out, Lori. His mouthpiece is in the third row by now. It's one of those slow motions. Whoa! <laughs> While I appreciate what the shark said, I have no doubt that Nexorcist and our team will be successful. We will overcome these low balance sheet issues and continue to grow to a profitable worldwide company.